Hey guys, what's up? Daniel here. Um, so, I wanted to make a video talking about my awesome opportunity to work with one of my favorite musicians, uh, Dirk Berberin. Uh, I believe that's how you say his last name. So this was in my last music project, Mirrors. And uh, so yeah, uh, so for those who don't know, Dirk actually is the current metal drummer. I don't know why I said metal drummer, but the current drummer for a band, a little band called Megadeth. So at the time, he was actually playing with Megadeth, but I primarily knew of Dirk um, from his previous work, and that was with the band, one of my favorite bands, uh, Soil Work. Soil Work is probably one of my top 10 favorite bands ever. Um, they're right up there with bands like Arch Enemy, Lamb of God, Gojira, Zayo, X Toll, Fear Factory too. I love Fear Factory. Dirk, big fan of Dirk and his work. He also uh, did some, I believe, some session work for a band called Cybreed. Which, if you haven't heard, you should definitely check check them out. During that time period, uh, my band Mirrors, we were in the process of recording some new music. We didn't have a drummer. Uh, the guy that we had been working with, uh, he had gotten picked up to do a couple other music projects. And so he, I believe he ended up was going on tour at the time. And so he wasn't able to like really do any more shows or gigs with us because of his schedule. So around that time we were recording a new album and we were, or I, I don't even know if we were necessarily excuse me, recording a new album, but we were recording at least some new music. And one was the song that we did, which I totally blanked out on, but I will play you that track. And so, uh, so you guys can hear it. But yeah, so we were doing some recording and um, so when it came time to do a music video, which, by the way, this would have been our this was our first music video. Um, and so that in itself was a pretty crazy story of how that came about. Basically, uh, this guy reached out to me. He had actually, like a lot of you guys, came across my girl voice video and uh, he had seen some of our music that we had posted on there. He really liked it. And he wanted to work with us. And so I was like, uh, yeah, totally. Sure. Let's do it. Let's shoot a video. You know, let's let's do it. Um, his name is Raul. I'll definitely link his uh, info in the description as well. So anyway, you know, we had uh, basically a director, producer guy to work with to do a music video. And um, it was really crazy how it all came about about the only problem was at the time we didn't have a drummer so we we're like well what are we gonna do like how are we gonna film a music video and we don't even have a drummer i mean obviously there's a lot of different ways you could do a music video but um uh, the big thing of course being well you know you could just shoot a story-based video you don't really have people playing or you show the musicians but you don't show all the musicians i've seen videos like that but in this particular case what we ended up doing was um we were thinking about just going with a friend, you know, somebody that we knew and uh, they could kind of just fill in for the video and just play the drums or whatever. And so during that process, I had this crazy idea. I was like, what if we got a freaking like at famous in the, in, in the, in the musical sense um, musician to, to do the music video with us. And I had the crazy idea of reaching out to Dirk. Now, 
Now, mind you, I had never actually met, met Dirk before. I'd seen him, uh, of course, obviously at shows. I'd seen him when he was still playing with solo work. And, um, but I never actually talked to him. Yeah, I just reached out. I, I've, I found his contacts online. I think it was through like, um, I forgot how, but uh, no, nothing too crazy, of course. <laughs> and so uh, I just went out and I sent him basically just a heartfelt email like, hey, I really like your music. I love the work that you've done. Um, you've, you, you know, I, I think I might have said you're one of my favorite drummers and you play, played in one of my favorite bands. And uh, I just wanted to see if you'd be interested in doing this music video with my band. And I, and I think I sent him the track then or maybe... I don't know. I, I didn't really expect to hear it back from him. And so when I did, um, I was just like freaking blown away. I was floored. I couldn't believe that this dude, not only did he respond to the message, but he also um, was like, yeah, sure. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's, let's play this. Let's, let's do it. And I was just, I was freaking out. I was like, Oh my gosh. Dirk is going to do the music video. And uh, the rest of the band, to be honest, like they weren't as familiar with Dirk as I am. So their sense of excitement wasn't as high as mine. Um, but I mean, he's the freaking drummer for Megadeth. I mean, even if you were like, oh, I'm not really familiar with the guy. I mean, just the idea that this guy who's involved in this top tier band would give us any of his time was just amazing. And um, so yeah, Dirk, I was like, yeah. So we worked out an agreement and everything. And so honestly, the plan was just to have Dirk come in because we had already recorded the songs and everything. It was just to have Dirk come in, play the drums on the music, the, in the music video. And then that would be it. But uh, he actually took a much more invested um, part of it, and he he reached out to me during this process, and he was like, "Hey, um, so I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to be playing drums in the video, uh, you know, maybe it would make more sense if it was like me playing them how I would play them instead of how somebody else would play them." I don't know if we had another drummer or if we had if they were programmed. I I, I don't remember exactly, but. So when he said this, like, hey, would you be cool with me playing like drums on the song? I was just like, holy crap, this is amazing. Uh, this was seriously the coolest thing ever. And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. And so he was like, well, how would you like me to do it? Would you like me to, um, you know, I could go to a studio and record on like a real kit and like do all that. Or I could just, I have a like a, a good electric kit set up at my place and I can just record that way. And um I was like, yeah, let's just do that because the uh, alternative was a lot more expensive. When you've worked with professionals versus like amateurs, there is a huge noticeable difference. I've worked with a lot of musicians. There's nothing like working with people who are on on top of their stuff and they have their A game and everything, you know, like I've worked with musicians where you'll send them a track and like it takes them two, three weeks just to get to it and really start to listen to it. Um, I can tell you 100% Dirk is not that dude. And most actual professional musicians and artists are not those, you know, and, and if, if for whatever reason, it does take them a little longer to get to it, maybe it's because of their schedules, but when they do get to it, they freaking nail it. And that's what Dirk did. Not only, so Dirk sent me a take. His first take, he sent me. And I was like, dude, this is freaking... I mean, it, it was basically perfect. There was only like one thing that I wanted him to change. That's how freaking awesome of a drummer Dirk is. And I was like, okay, everything is awesome. Can you just do this a little bit different? And by the way, he put his own little spins and takes on, on the parts, but they fit awesome with the song. It, it fit... It was just, it was amazing. So he, he went ahead and he played and uh, he sent me the first take and I listened to it. I was like, dude, this sounds sick. Um, can you just change this to sound like this? And, and a lot of times when I give notes, I, I find it easier to just like 
record what I want them to do, like just go like uh, instead of like digga 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 da da, go or you know whatever you know. And I kid you not, the second take he sends back, it's it, it's perfect, it's it. So that's basically the take we ended up using. I believe I don't think he changed anything. That was it, you know. So yeah, it was like two takes. That was it. It was freaking amazing. So he sends the song. I mean, he so so he sends me the tracks, the raw files, and I send it off to this guy to go and remix everything. We end up going to, uh, uh. So the the guy who was working with us to shoot the music video, uh, he had a buddy who had basically his parents have like a ranch out in the freaking middle of nowhere. Um, I forgot what part of I don't know. It's like near Palmdale. I think it's like near Palmdale or something. Anyway. Um, and so we're out there and this like ranch and we're shooting the music video and, um, it was freaking crazy. Like it was so much fun. Um, Dirk was just so like easy to work with. And, um, I think the biggest thing pulling from this whole process was just, just go for it. You know, um, a lot of times I imagine like the biggest obstacle people will face is themselves. It's not the world, it's themselves. And there's that fear of like, oh, I don't think they'll work with me or I don't think they'll, you know, um, you know, and you could relate this to anything, uh, girls or jobs or, you know, relationships, I should say. But um, just go for it. Just do it. The, the honestly, the, the biggest thing could be, I mean, would be no, or they'll say yes, you know. Or they won't say anything at all. <laughs> They'll just ignore it. And, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You're, you're very rarely, very, very, very rarely going to have somebody come out and say, you know, like just be all super evil and mad and aggressive about it and say like, you know, and just, you know, how dare you even consider talking to me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're, you're not going to encounter that. Um, and if you do, that person's a dick and you can totally post a video on them and trash them. Um, don't do that. But the rest of the world would love to watch that, but don't do it. It's, 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 that's wrong. That's messed up. But anyway, so yeah, that's basically my story of how I got to work with one of my favorite musicians. I have a few other musicians that I would love to work with. Um, one is, should I say, should I keep it a secret? Um, there's a few other musicians that I'd like to work with. Uh, and so, yeah, um, at some point I am going to, reach out to those musicians to do some collaborative efforts. But like I said, you know, listen, you know, life is short, just make art uh, for the world to enjoy. And yeah. And with that said, bliggity blam in your face.